Hey, what's up guys? Before we get this video started, I am going to be telling two funny stories at the end of the video, which I will timestamp in the comments down below. So if you guys want to check those out instead of watching the entire video, then you can do that. Also, we're just going to start the video now. Oh my god, guys, Epic Mode 11 is super lit. So today, guys, I'm going to be giving you all the tips and tricks that I know for Epic Mode 11. And you're going to become basically like way better at Epic Mode 11 after you listen to this video. So let's get into it, guys. First off, Stealing Creation. If you guys go to Stealing Creation for the keys for Epic Mode, be sure to make sure that the event is on. In fact, like 8 to 10 people on Epic Mode go to every Stealing Creation game, and they all team up on the same team. So if you do plan on doing the Stealing Creation for Epic Mode, just wait to make sure that everybody else is doing it at the same time. And get on their team as well, guys, because they have a 60 to 75% chance of winning. So all the bots apparently are horrible at stealing creation compared to the real players, which I kind of figured, but the bots do go pretty hard. It looks like they're grinding, but whatever. Just join the human team, guys. The humans are always like better than the AI. But anyways, guys, that is going to be like three games in a row of stealing creation. And if you win every game, you will get 20 keys, 20 keys, 20 keys, which is 60 keys, which is like basically one key per minute, which is really, really good rate for keys. So it sounds like stealing creation is super good if you guys want those silver keys. And also I would do hangman as well guys if you guys have been looking at the chat. Tons of people are playing hangman because it gives three keys to the winner of hangman. But you have to be super fast guys. So it doesn't allow you to type with a keyboard and I kind of like wish it did a little bit. But you know clicking with your mouse as well that's totally fine. Be sure to click faster than the other person guys. It's not about words per minute I guess. It's like who can spam click the fastest or whatever. Maybe someone has like an auto clicker and they're auto clicking all the vowels first or something. I don't know. But anyways, guys, uh, Hangman is good. Stealing Creation is good. And then uh, Boss Tasks, of course, is also going to be good. I heard that Boss Tasks actually give a similar number of keys to uh, Stealing Creation. However, if you're on Stealing Creation as like if you don't have good weapons and you probably want to do stealing creation to build up those keys and then get better items from the chest so that you guys can get better items for the boss tasks and then at some point if you have like a noxious sword you might actually get better uh better keys from the boss tasks so you could possibly get such good gear that you don't even want to do stealing creation anymore but the reason i would do stealing creation is because it would kind of break up like the monotony of doing boss tasks over and over so this game mode, I've been told, is actually like some of some people's favorites. So basically, we're going to do something similar for maybe the next epic mode. But instead of stealing creation, we could possibly do like castle wars instead. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this game mode right now if you guys have cho chosen it. And if you guys have not chosen it yet, then you obviously have all these tips and tricks. Or if you're beginning, you have these tips and tricks now. Uh, at the moment, there is a bug that if your inventory is not like totally clean before entering stealing creation you might not get the keys so be sure that you guys have a totally empty inventory before you go into stealing creation and then you will not miss out on those keys now that is going to do it basically for today's video guys i will hopefully be making some big game changing updates such as adding new armors and it seems like we have a good amount of weapons in the game guys in fact i'll take a look at the armor list right now and then if you guys want to keep watching the video i'll just be talking about like you know in this melee section here we have like basically the entire list all filled up but then once you look at the armor section you see that actually it's like only half filled up it looks like or maybe like two thirds so there's definitely a few armors that we could add in here and i was thinking of taking the saradaman armor and the zamorak armor and what i was going to do with those armors is i was going to change the names of them so I was going to make like for example a Zamorak armor that would be somewhere as good as Vanguard or possibly better. And then of course I would give it a damage percent and you know similar stats to the armors below it and above it. And I feel like that would be a good idea and then we'll put it underneath a boss that you know not many people do. And then we'll change the combat scripts up a little bit possibly if the combat script is boring for example. For uh, We'll look at the bosses right now and see which ones. Which ones you guys think should be dropping this type of armor? So, Yik Lagor, for example, is just a horrible boss. Only drops the Death Touch shards, but people get Death Touch shards from other places anyways. Uh, Wilderness Worm has some good drops. KBD has actually the Death Cape, so I think that, that one's pretty good. 
and also it drops the, the KPD head as well, so I think that's good. But Tormented Demons drops the Dragon Crossbow, so that's already good. Uh, Jake might be lacking a little bit, and he only drops the Jake Sword, which is like a PvP weapon. So we could have like Jake drop some cool armor, but it would... I don't know what it would be. Uh, it would have to be something similar to Jake's difficulty. So Noxious drops the armor that is the Raccoon armor, and I think Raccoon armor is even worse than Vanguard. So if we were to add a new armor that is above Vanguard, it would have to be for a boss that is similar to QBD in its difficulty. And so D QBD is actually pretty high up on the list. I think it's almost a very hard boss. People have told me that it's harder than Mercenary Mage, I think, and like not as hard as Gobby. So yeah, basically we will have to think about like, do we want to put it, this new armor on a super, super hard boss? You guys let me know what you guys think. Or if we should put it on some pre-existing boss and make the boss harder. But uh, I mean, let's see, Phil's boss might not drop too much good stuff. I think he drops like dildos and stuff. And Haiti drops, he's in the wilderness, so that kind of sucks. Tokar Champion drops the Chazar Rapier, which is actually worth a lot. And then we're going to move down to uh, Cerberus, I think is a donator only boss, right? So now we're going to move. Simon could definitely drop some good stuff, guys. We could have Simon drop some good stuff. That is a good idea. So that's not an AFKable boss, like by any means. Everyone knows that. And everyone knows that Simon sucks really hard. In fact, some people might even say that Simon sucks worse than QBD, but uh, that means that that would be a good boss for actually adding the Saradamon armor, Zamorak armor, Guthix armor. And we'll add those three armors. You guys let me know which one's your favorite out of those, and like, do you think that Zamorak is the best out of them? Do you think that Saradamon is the best out of them? Uh, in terms of prices, when I was playing like old school RuneScape and stuff, when I was playing RuneScape in 2007, like, Guthix was worth a really low amount, but then Saradamon and uh, Zamrock were both worth a lot. I think they were worth similar prices, but I, I don't know which one I like better. I think that I like Zamrock better, because it's like red, and then uh, probably Saradamon next. But we could put all three of those armors in the game, guys, and just redo their stats and redo the bonuses. And people would be walking around looking like noobs, but actually being like total ballers and bosses. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Be sure to like and comment for a chance to win 20 death charts as well as 5 bill. So peace out. All right, guys, as promised, we're going to get into some of the funny stories now. So funny story number one actually just happened within the last hour. There were two people that came to my house and both of them were like kind of fit and kind of tan. So I'm like, are they going to try and sell me some sort of fitness gym program? I'm like, the gyms are closed right now, guys. I don't think I'm supposed to be going to gyms, but I'd have to like sanitize all the equipment and guys, I was supposed to do that before and I never did that at the gym so I don't know if I'm gonna get, like, get in trouble or whatever and maybe they could be coming to my house to tell me I'm in trouble for not doing that like months ago but anyways guys they were not coming here to do that at all I actually thought at first that maybe they were actually some friends of my siblings or something but they were not guys in fact I also thought that maybe like my dad had this 20 year old friend who was like super fit or whatever and I'm like that doesn't make any sense either but turns out this guy had like a menu in his hand so I'm like Hmm, this guy's probably trying to sell me something. He looks like he has a Chinese takeout menu. Maybe he's gonna have me like try and buy some Chinese items for the menu. He comes up to my door and then he leaves immediately after coming to my door. And I'm waiting uh, for him to like, you know, try and ring the doorbell or something to see if someone's there. But actually guys, before he even like came to the door, I looked at him through the window and I was eating popcorn and he looked at me and he saw that I was looking at him. And so then he went to the door afterwards and I'm like, he is probably definitely going to knock on the door because he knows someone's home, right? He saw me through the doorway or through the window, actually. And so I'm like, well, I better get down there to go talk to him. But I get down there, guys, and he's literally already walking away. And I'm like looking around and waiting to see, did he leave a menu? Did he drop something off so that I could look at it? And he didn't leave anything behind, guys. In fact, he just walked away. And I assume he was doing this for a business, guys. Like, you see paper boys walking around. They're actually delivering papers and what's not, what not, like, good little boys or whatever. But this guy literally didn't do his job at all. So I don't know if they're, like, recording him from a van from, like, across the street just to see that they're approaching houses and stuff like that. But his friend did the same thing. They, like, come up to the door. They look through, like, they look at your door for, like, a second. 
and then they walk away and pretend like they did their job or something. I think that they're supposed to talk to you, but this this one guy who came to my door wasn't wearing a mask, so it's pretty good that I didn't actually like talk to him, because he could have had the Rona, guys. He could have had the Rona, and I would not have known. But his friend actually had a mask, so that's good. So his friend, if I would have talked to his friend, I would have been totally fine, right guys? But anyways, that's story number one, guys. Story number two, we were actually in a call for our classroom in Zoom, and one call, like just a few uh, sessions ago or whatever, we actually had this one guy like scream really loud like he did yeah he kind of like moaned pretty loud and it was like oh or i don't know some it was like he was watching porn or something but anyways guys this uh thing happened today where someone was in like his own room and there was a green screen behind him and he had a big luxurious library behind him like he was the only person in the library and the green screen was so good it legit looked like he was in this library and there were tons of books there was like literally nobody in the library and I'm like, well, it's got to be fake. There's nobody in the library. But just imagine for a second, guys, that he like, he was the only one in this library because of Corona. And there was literally nobody behind him. But like, I don't know, he just looked like uh, he owned the library almost is what it seemed like. But that was one of the funny things that happened in this classroom. And it was kind of interesting to see that a student was green screening a library behind him during a Zoom call. And like literally the entire class could see him doing this for like over 100 people. So I thought that was kind of cool and kind of funny. But another thing is, in the chat, there was actually people arguing over the best library in the entire school, which is kind of funny because it's totally off topic. Like, we're supposed to be learning computer science, but all these people are sitting there, like, wondering which is the best library. They're like, oh, this one's good because it's mostly empty. And they're like, well, this, uh, this West Bank is actually pretty cool. And then someone's like, oh, St. Paul campus is, like, underrated. And then one person comes in the chat and they're like, we're supposed to be learning computer science here. And all those students are like, okay, King. And so what ended up happening like during this time as well is they're talking about Starbucks. There's like, where's the best Starbucks location is what they're talking about. So there was actually a Starbucks location, I think in like libraries in our uh, school. It's kind of weird where they show up. They like literally show up in the weirdest places in like school buildings. You'll see like Starbucks randomly like in there. And then you'll see like subway shops as well. Like literally right next to a classroom could be a subway. And so right after class, you could like literally just walk there. And in fact, one time I think that there was a caribou coffee above one of my classrooms. So I just go up there and I could get a coffee and then I could also get like uh, something else as well with my coffee. Like I could get, I'm trying to think like biscuit or something. Those are the types of things they have at coffee shops as well. But it was funny that they're talking about like what's the best Starbucks on campus when they're literally on like a Zoom call and some of them probably aren't even living on campus anyways. But anyway, those are my funny stories guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.